Hey guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here, welcome back to Fortnite Save the World, and it is Wednesday, it is Wednesday at, uh, what is it, 7 p.m. Uh, Eastern, 6 p.m. Central, 5 p.m. Mountain, 4 p.m. Eastern, which means it is time for the weekly reset. So, we're gonna jump right into the item shop right now and take a look at this, ooh, we've got a couple of free llamas, we're gonna open those up. We're going to go right here and we're going to take a look at the pain train. So I am going to go ahead and I am going to purchase this weapon. Um, I'm going to do it right after this. I'm going to purchase this weapon. We're going to take a look at it. Let's take a quick look at it though. As assault weapon, winter, assault weapon, winter, assault rifle with a slow rate of fire that packs a punch per shot. Slow and steady wins the race. So it is a slow assault rifle. Man, that is, wow. The attention to detail in these are just, it's just, it's amazing. And also the, 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 it's not the functionality, the, what is this? The extravagance of these weapons, because who in their right mind would take a toy train and turn it into an assault rifle? And a little bell on top too. Um, that would drive me crazy. Every single shot, a little bell ringing. But, you know, it, it looks awesome. Uh, wood down the... St that's interesting. Okay, it looks cool. It looks cool. It is the pain train. It's going to be a slow weapon, though. Let's check. Oh, stats, bonus, and crafting. Wait, what? We don't have bonuses. Wait, what's... Wait, what? Bonuses. Is that new? Is that new? Hmm. Damage, 876. Headshot, 1314. Crit, 10. So it's not 10, not a 15. Fire rate, 7.5. That's not bad. That is not bad. Impact, 94. Ooh, that is a low impact. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to get it after this. Uh, and of course, I will be releasing a video talking just about it. But let's take a look. We've got the regular suspects over on our weekly and we've got the copper instrument, tiny instrument of death and the wall dynamo. I personally don't recommend the copper tiny instrument of death because uh, it's it's an interesting weapon, but uh, <coughs> <coughs> if it had, it's a bit of a homing weapon. And if it was the sense where once you fired it, you could follow it, like you could follow the shot with a camera and like pinpoint where you're going to put it. Yes, I would recommend it. But because you can't, no. Nah. I thought it was going to be like a little nuke, you know, uh, like a guided nuke. It, it's not like that. Wall Dynamo is one of my favorite uh, traps. If you guys have watched my streams, you know that I love wall dynamos with uh, spikes, ground spikes. That is my favorite combination. So I highly recommend it because I really do love it. Anything over on the, nope, we have nothing over on the event. So the only thing we have is the regular stuff. I've always said this, but I'll say it again. If you wanna ask me, what do I recommend to get on the, on the weekly? I recommend in this order, order of importance, I recommend first the, to the token armory slots. Then I recommend the pure drops of rain, then the reperk, then the rare perk, then the uncommon perk up. And if you still have some V-Bucks, uh, sorry, some gold after that, you can get the storm shards, lightning in a bottle, eye of the storms. Um, and if you still have some gold after that, get the legendary flux and the epic flux. That would be my recommendation for the weekly stuff. So let's go take a look at what else we have. What else do we have? Well, the 14th day of Fortnite is right now. I thought I already passed. I may be wrong. 14th day of Fortnite. If you haven't done that already, I actually recently did it over here. It's a new year event and you get crack shot from it. But that's not the important thing. That's not the important thing. What I want to talk about, the most important thing in this update for me is going to be this. Week one warrior. Survive for 30 minutes in a week one challenge. Any threat level. Week one challenge. Any threat level. Weekly challenges can be accessed by selecting the map tab and then selecting the Frost Knight pin. Survive for 30 minutes in the week one Frost Knight challenge, any threat level for a Copper Tree of Light. So what we're going to do is I'm going to jump into Fort into Frost Knight sorry, as soon as I'm done with this video and we're going to go and try it. Let's go take a look at it though. So here's Frost Knight and oh, there it is. Frost Knight, slip out. So is this it? 
Frost Knight slip out. Frost Knight four players. I'm guessing this is it? This is just regular Frost Knight. This is... Oh, yeah, it is. It is because the whole point of this recent one is going to be if you touch the ice or snow, you're going to slip or, slip and slide all over the place. Actually, let me see if I can pull up the... Um, let's see if I can pull up really quick the Fortnite news so we can take a look at it. So if we look at the news, uh, if we look at the content update number two, and if we bring it over here, let's take a look. Um, so if we go over here, we have content news right here. Mission is this system. Weekly Frost Knight Challenge missions. Each week during the Frost Knight event, there will be a new weekly challenge mission in the Frost Knight zone. These zones include specially crafted challenges to push player skills using a variety of modifiers. Weekly Frost Knight Challenge number one, slip out. There it is, slip out. Touching snow or ice will cause players to slide. Use buildings to your advantage. Weekly Frost Knight Challenge 1 quest rewards include Challenge Banner 1, Tree of Light Sword, and the Snowflake Ticket. So we're going to get a banner, tickets, and the sword. Where is the banner? So we can't even see the banner. Hmm. Okay, well... I believe that's it though. So there it is, Frost Knight Rewards. We're gonna have to go through this. Let's check out really quickly to see if there's anything else here. Uh, the pinatas, we've got the Winter Llama. We can go ahead and open these two right now. Anything else in the store? Nothing. Okay, so I have a free legendary for? Troll Stash Llama. Why do I have a free legendary Troll Stash Llama? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, let's see. All right, so. Yeah, take it on home. Pain Train and. Let's see, Pain Train and the Tree of Light Sword. So Tree of Light Sword, Pain Train, and of course the Crack Shot, uh, which Crack Shot you can only get uh, if you're going lucky. to get him from the, please go gold. I haven't, I haven't had a single hey, one of these free ones go gold for me. Nice. Uh, so the crack shot is from the 14 days of Fortnite. I believe though that to unlock that one you do have to complete all 13 days before of that of Fortnite. Uh, of the 14 days of Fortnite. Now, um, I did hear this today that there was a bit of a confusion or something in Battle Royale. I'm sure a lot of you guys who play Battle Royale will know a lot more than I what exactly happened. Um, should we open this? Yeah, you know what? Let's open this legendary troll stash. Why not? That's a free one? Wait, do we have a Daily Llama? There's no Daily Llama. There's no Daily Llama. Did I mess up something here? I don't think I messed something up. So this, I believe, is my legendary troll stash from the day 12, 11, something like that. There's no Daily Llama. No one else has a Daily Llama. So anyway, what happened with the 14 days is that apparently it left in battle royale but we don't know exactly when it's gonna leave for us that was day 13 yeah day 13 okay so day 13 was this free llama in the 14 days of fortnite um but for us personally frost knight is still gonna be around for a while now as i said these weekly fortnite challenges this is gonna be week one we don't know how many weeks there's gonna be there could be one week two weeks three weeks four weeks five weeks this frost knight could be around for the entire duration of the seven uh, of a version seven we could have frost knight for the entire version seven we do know the only thing we know is that sometime soon <laughs> Version 7.20 is coming and 7.20 is going to bring a lot of new stuff and a lot of different stuff the new hero loadout and a bunch of other hopefully some fixes as well uh, including there is a rumor that there is going to be a fix for a problem that a lot of people are experiencing which is the um, they don't have the research or you know or, or upgrades and all that so hopefully that that will be a fix so that's all we know right now. That's all the solid information we have right now about version 7. Which again, and I've said this many times before, um, it would be very nice if we had a little bit more, if we had, you know, a, a roadmap or something. Let's go to the constructor. It'd be nice if we had some sort of a roadmap or something to kind of let us know, hey, you know, this is the direction that we are going to right now.
I need him. Um, so, <clears throat> we'll just leave it there. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, uh, that is it for our weekly reset. Apparently, there are no other llamas, so we don't have a llama to buy today. I don't know if that's a mistake or something. I don't know what's going on there. Again, the only thing we have new here is the copper paint train, which, of course, I will purchase it. Actually, you know what? I'm going to purchase it, level up, and I'm going to try it in the Frost Knight that we're going to try right now. And the last thing, of course, and the most important thing for me. Oh, there we are. See? There you are. Um, so, paint train, assault rifle, and Frost Knight week one challenge. Slip out. Players who step on ice or snow will lose their footing. So, just put a lot of put ground. I mean, well, you're going to have to You get a lot of stuff, aren't you? I wonder if this means we're just gonna just slide or if we're gonna fall. We'll find out in a minute. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. As always, I am DUJ2. If you enjoyed this video, if you enjoy what I do on my channel, please do me a huge favor. Have yourself a wonderful day. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. See ya.